Hi there, I'm Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's ServiceNow demo, I'm excited to show you the Cisco warranty integration that we've built here at Glidefast. Before I take you through the integration, I'd like to talk about why the integration is important within your IT asset management practice, the benefits of having warranty visibility, and the business outcomes that can be achieved with this integration. So why is this integration important to your ITAM program? Whether you're a small, medium, or enterprise-sized organization, having visibility into your Cisco hardware asset warranty statuses is crucial, as it allows you to understand what assets are covered by Cisco in the event of damage or failure. By having warranty visibility, you're able to outsource hardware issues to Cisco, thus allowing your IT service desk and networking teams to focus on more important issues. Being able to save on IT support costs is more important than ever before. By having visibility into your active warranties, you're able to reduce your total cost of ownership for your Cisco assets, increase your return on investment, and you're also able to streamline the support process for affected assets when incidents are logged. Now that we've covered the importance of this integration and the business outcomes that you can achieve, let's jump into the system and take a look at it. So to populate ServiceNow with warranty data for our hardware assets, we've set up the system so it automatically pulls warranty data directly from Cisco when an asset is created. And then in order to keep the system up to date, the system automatically runs a scheduled job that gets the warranty dates for existing assets that don't have any warranty information. Please note, in order to pull warranty information into the system, each of your Cisco asset records need to have a serial number in the serial number field. Now that we've talked about how the integration works, let's go and create a Cisco hardware asset and we'll be able to see how the warranty information is automatically populated. I'm going to head over to the Hardware Assets module and then click on the New button. In the Model field, I'm going to select the Cisco Catalyst 6500 and in the Model Category field, I'm going to select Network Gear. In the Serial Number field, I'm going to enter the serial number for this asset. Now I'm going to right click on the form header and click Save. At this point, the integration process will be running and the warranty information should be populated in a few seconds. Now if we head over to the Contracts tab and click on the Refresh button, we'll see that the warranty expiration date has been populated for the Cisco asset. And as you can imagine, the possibilities are truly endless with this integration. You can integrate this data into your ITSM processes, your refresh asset process, etc. And that is all for today's demo on the Cisco warranty integration in ServiceNow. If you're interested in learning more about this integration and would like to have it implemented within your ServiceNow instance, feel free to reach out to us here at Glidefast Consulting today. 